In this lesson, we'll be discussing the relationship between the standard cell potential and the equilibrium constant. The question reads, use the tabulated electrode potentials to calculate K for the oxidation of copper by H+. Before we start solving this, the relationship between E cell and the equilibrium constant can be found using the Nernst equation. Take a look at this formula shown here. The standard cell potential is equal to the cell potential at non-standard conditions, for us that's zero, plus this factor divided by n times log k. n represents the number of electrons that are cancelled out in the half reactions that will be found soon, and k represents the equilibrium constant, and if it wasn't at equilibrium, this is replaced with q as the reaction quotient. So our goal is to isolate for k, but we first need to find this value. And we can do that by looking at the equation and determining what is being oxidized and what's being reduced. So taking a look at copper solid, it's going from an oxidation state of 0 to 1 that is 2 plus. This means that it's losing electrons. So the relationship between these two is oxidation. And the relationship between this H plus ion and H2 gas is that it's going from being positive to less positive. So that's a reduction. I'm going to write this out clearly for you. So the oxidation is copper solid becoming copper 2 plus, and we'll balance the charges soon. Let me just write this next one down. 2H plus AQ, and that's forming hydrogen gas, H2 gas. To balance the charges, I'll write down plus two electrons at the top. That way we are at zero, it's neutral. And over here we have two plus, so I'll write down two electrons plus this yields that. I'll now find the standard electrode potentials for each of these using this table. For this half reaction, as you can see I've placed the dot right here, it should be zero. So I'll write down zero volts and for the other one I've placed the dot at 0 0.34 right here. Next I'll be using this formula to calculate the standard cell potential so I'll subtract that of the anode from the cathode. So E cell is equal to, the cathode is always the reduction reaction, so 0 minus 0 0.34. This gives us negative 0 0.34, and I'll substitute that into the Nernst equation. That's equal to 0, E cell is 0 because we're at standard conditions here, nothing has changed and the rest is 0 0.592 per n. n is the amount of electrons that were cancelled out. Notice that I've cancelled them out. So I'll put 2 log k. Let's solve for k. I'll multiply both sides by 2. That cancels out this 2. And then I'll divide both sides by this number at the top. So if I divide both sides by that, it will cancel out with this. And here's what we're left with. We're left with that on the left side. I'm going to calculate it. 2 times negative 0 0.34 divided by 0 0.0592. And we get negative 11.486 repeating. We'll leave five digits. That's good enough. Is equal to log of k. To isolate for k, we need to raise both of these numbers, both sides, as exponents to the base 10. Because what that will do, it's cancel out this log. Remember, every log that's written without a base has a base 10. That's why you can do that. Leaving you with k is equal to the left side. 10 to the power of what we just found. We need this to two significant figures, so we get 3.3 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12. That right there represents the answer to question one. If you'd like to see the solution to question number two, just leave us a comment below and we'll gladly make you a video once we read it.